This project is called Online Telestic Agreement, and it's uh, achieve low power, high security, personal servers. Uh, the motivation, so what we want to do, we want to develop online vault for internet users, let's say individuals and small and medium company. And the main idea is to use uh, online uh, securement. You all know there are 10 billion securement are manufactured every year, among which uh, 6 billion of Java card, and this Java card uh, can be programmed with a subset of the Java, card, the Java language, which is called uh, the Java card. And so you all use uh, securement, mostly in your uh, own card, on your e-passport, and you know that it's very difficult to break uh, this kind of uh, the, the, the device. That's the idea. So the security level is highly security level, and six bus according to common uh, criteria. So we use open technology. Basically, we want to open uh, non-disclosure agreements and this kind of stuff. And we also want to use open hardware, uh, things like uh, Arduino, for example, when it's needed, because hardware, hardware is an important part for this kind of service. And the kind of service we target, uh, we target uh, key management uh, services and uh, secure storage. Can you speak a little closer to the mic? Speak closer to the mic. Ah, yes, sorry. And so there is a draft called TLS SC, which means TLS for Secure Mint, and basically TLS for Secure Mint is a TLS 1.3 profile using pre-shared key. pre key is uh, 128 bits, so it's high security. And we target two kinds of servers. The nano server, which is really a nano server, is basically a secure element, and a TCP IP socket. And personal server, based on, uh, it's based on grid of uh, secure element. And so then it means you have a, a TCP IP socket that manage uh, a set, let's say, 32 uh, secure element. And so every uh, secure element is identified by a uh, uniform resource identifier. And so it's come from the fact that we have a TLS server inside uh, each secure element. And uh, so we use a pressure key as a secret, as a root of security. We have a secure channel, end-to-end -end secure channel with the secure element. And uh, to when the routing is needed, uh, we use uh, something imported which, uh, from TLS, which is called the uh, TLS server's name. And we'll call that uh, secure element uh, name. And we put it in something uh, which is physical and which is collected upon reset, which is called the answer to request. Or so you, you, you get something a 15 byte field. And we use that uh, for uh, routing, and so it uh, gives you a kind of uniform resource identifier. So this is an example of personal server. For personal server, we use, for example, I2C bus. So uh, we use uh, which something is called the secure element processor. And uh, so the secure element has two address. One is physical, which is the I2C address on the bus. And the second one is a server name for TLS. And for nano server, it's different. We just have uh, some SOC, it's very cheap. And uh, we just use the 5Y uh, ISO 7816 bus. And so you have a single secure element connected to the, uh, to the internet. Uh, we have low power connection, and it's illustrated over there. And uh, so you can, uh, for example, use solar panel to, 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 to feed it. And I'm done. And so we are looking for uh, people interested to develop services. Thank you.